Hi, in this session we are going to discuss about how do we declare variables in TypeScript. In previous session, we discussed about the configuration of variables in TypeScript. What is declaration, what is initialization and what is rendering. So we can declare, we can initialize and we can assign or render values into variables. And uh, one important thing we discussed is in TypeScript, declaration of variables can be done by using the keywords var, let and const. Today we are going to discuss the difference between var, let and const. What are the basic differences between var, let and const? So how to declare and what are the differences? Still, we have to learn so many things about declaration of variables in uh, TypeScript. This is our first level to understand. Later, we will learn so many other things also. Initially, variables can be declared with var and uh, what is difference between var, let and all. Actually, var is used to define function scope, function scope variable it is used to define function scope variable. That means if you declare any variable by using the keyword var, it will be function scope. That means even you declare in a block, it is accessible outside the block within the function anywhere. So variables declared by using var are function scope. For example, C. I am creating a new TypeScript file here, variable var.ts. Let us create a function here. We are creating a function and the function is a demo. And this demo function is having a simple variable. So, var and we are configuring x is equal to 10 and we are writing if x is equal to 10 and uh, var y is equal to 20 and we are trying to access console.log we are trying to access x so x is equal to and whatever the value present in x so we will use x so and uh, y equal to whatever the value present in y so we are defining how to print how to configure the strings these all things we will learn later initially i am just explaining the difference between var let and const so you need not to concentrate on uh, these expressions anyhow you know this these are string expressions we can enclose a string in a back tick and it can have a string expression, string with expression, so which can present any value dynamically here. Later, you will learn about this. Initially, what is the concept is, x is declared within the scope of the function and y is declared within the block of this if. You are trying to access x and y outside the if block that means you are trying to access y outside the block where it has been declared is it possible to access y outside this block yes it is possible if it is declared by using the keyword var because var defines a variable with function scope so that uh, it is accessible anywhere inside the function so let's compile this and uh, run here so i am compiling this as a uh, tsc var dot ts it generates a javascript file and there i am executing the javascript file and uh, the javascript file contains this uh, function demo in order to render the output we need to call the function demo here okay now let's uh, save this and uh, compile and uh, run node var.js you can see it will show the output 
x and y are working fine. So the point is when you declare a variable by using the keyword var, it is a function scope. That means even you declare inside a block, it is accessible outside the block. That is the first point about var. It is a function scope variable. Second important, var allows, allows, allows declaring, rendering and uh, it allows initializing, initialization. Var allows to declare, render and initialize. All these three things are allowed by var. So what does that mean? So already we discussed what is declaring, initializing and all. So just observe the point here. So in the function demo, I am defining var x. That means this is a declaration, declaration and x is equal to 10. This is rendering, rendering or we are assigning, assigning and uh, var y is equal to 20. That means here I am initialization, I am initializing. So var allows to declare, allows to render and allows to initialize. So I can handle in three different ways. So we can declare the variable, we can render the values and you can even initialize. So var allows these three things declaring, rendering and initializing. Okay. Why we need to discuss this because we have problem in the other declaration methods so that you will observe now. So initially var can be function scope and var can be defined in such a way that you can declare, render and initialize. Next important is var allows, var allows shadowing, var allows shadowing. Shadowing is a technique which is nothing but initializing, declaring or redefining the same name variable within the scope again. So that means here shadowing is nothing but C. Actually we declared var x is equal to 10 and if and x equal to 10 within the function scope I am declaring var x again equal to 20. That means already there is a identifier by name x and you are defining another identifier with the same name x. This is called shadowing and var allows shadowing. That means there can be same name identified. Obviously the latest defined identifier will override the previous. So when you are trying to print this console.log and you are trying to print x is equal to and x and y is equal to so y we are trying to print this and uh, sorry here we don't have y we will just print the value of x and see here and uh, let's compile and run this and see and uh, I will compile this and uh, run this and you can see x is 20 because x allows shadowing because it is declared by using var shadowing is nothing but same name is again redeclared same name identifier is again redeclared then this is called as a shadowing and var allows to shadow var allows to shadow another important point is var allows flag that means you can simply say hoisting hoisting var allows hoisting and what is this hoisting hoisting is a mechanism where the variable declaration can be anywhere in the scope. That means you can declare variable even after defining its functionality. So that means for example, I am defining here like this. So x is equal to 10. Without declaring, I am trying to use this var and uh, it is not possible to do that in TypeScript because they cannot find a name called x. Now I try to declare this, I try to declare this. 
so var x I defined here and this is called hoisting. Remember here you can observe we are declaring and using this before declaration. We are declaring at the bottom and we are trying to use that here. So it is possible by using the keyword var and this is what we call as hoisting. Hoisting specifies that wherever you want you can define and th there is no order for execution while uh, verifying the variable references. That means you can declare at any place and you can access and use it. This is what actually the concept of uh, var. So var allows var allows this shadowing and uh, var allows hoisting. I will compile and run this. You can see when I compile and run this again and the same have to display x equal to 10 that means it is working fine. So what are the points about var? Var defines a function scope variable. Var allows declaring, rendering and initializing. Var allows shadowing shadowing is same name identifier within the scope and where allows the concept of hoisting. Hoisting means you can define anywhere you want. So that means you can utilize it before it is declared and however the compiler will first take the declaration part then process the rendering and initialization. So this is the point about var. In our next session we will discuss what is let and const and what are differences between them. Thank you.